I um, arrived in Canada from England as a student in 1972, I believe. And while I was living at a uh, uh, in a uh, an apartment, uh, I used to get these letters from uh, that were addressed to Peter Yatsik. Um, they came from Ukraine, um, and uh, they uh, generally were um, uh, to do with uh, family affairs. And I knew there was it wasn't my family. So I, I figured out uh, there must be another Pityatsik in the world. Uh, and I also started getting um, invoices to be paid. And I knew those weren't my invoices. I was a, it, it, I was an impoverished student, but I, I, I couldn't afford to pay these kind of bills. Fortunately, no checks arrived for me uh, addressed to, to, to Pityatsik. So um, I met him uh, several years later I think in the late 70s, if I'm not mistaken, um, he reached out to me and uh, he, we had a, a meeting and um, I was, um, uh, uh, I could say, um, intrigued by this, uh, by this man. And uh, I learned a little bit more about him and what he'd done at, up to this point. And uh, um, after that, he invited myself, and I think he was looking for other Yatsiks in the phone book as well, to join the Petro Yatsik Foundation. Um, uh, the Walter Yatsik, uh, who's uh, departed now, uh, he joined, uh, I think there was another fellow, he never made it, so that's how I got to meet Peter Yatsik. Але то не значить, що то не можна поправити. Бо в моєму розумінні, в підході, підході до якої-небудь справи, є замало скритикувати чи замало її бачити речі критично. Піті Яцик was a very... Uh, he had definitely had vision. Um, he was very driven, um, I must say that. And uh, as they say, he didn't suffer fools lightly. Um, he definitely knew what he wanted, um, and his aims were to move to that, uh, you know, to, to, to reach that uh, uh, aim that he had. Um, he uh, was interesting in that, you know, I, I was intrigued by his, his, his uh, background, you know, that he grew up uh, basically in, in a village and um, he made it in Canada um, through hard work, um, but he was um, a person that was um, multifaceted, I'd say. You know, he had his um, uh, artistic side, yet he had his pragmatic side as well. He was definitely somebody that um, put Ukraine first, uh, an Ukrainian um, uh, Ukrainian matters. Um, he definitely wanted to reach out to Ukraine um, in, in uh, as many ways as possible. Yet he wanted to. Yet he wanted to. Um, uh, wanted the world to know in Canada and beyond about the function um, uh, of, of the history of Ukraine and uh, the politics of Ukraine as well. And he wanted to leave a legacy that was um, not purely about himself. It was um, it was to do with, uh, I think, the greater good. Um, he wanted to um, uh, to make sure that because there are many many views of Ukraine, and this was before the the time of Glasnost uh, and uh, the changes in Ukraine. And already at that time, he was making connections. Um, he was very intrigued by literature, by the arts as well. And I think uh, this is a balance that he had in his life. And I think he wanted to leave something on the artistic side. He could definitely talk with literary scholars, um, uh, on their level, 
um, he uh, was definitely, uh, I think, driven to utilize what he had made in terms of finances and put it to a good cause. People that uh, were, uh, were came to the board and he said, how come you can't finish one volume of Hrushevsky in one year? You know, it, it should be done in, in 10 years. Um, you know, the, 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 whole, the whole volumes and, you know, people, academics don't work at that kind of pace. It's not like putting up a building. So I, I think that uh, he, um, he, he, uh, you know, the work that he did prior to to the uh, foundation, uh, I, I'm, you know, I've read about it, but I know, don't know much uh, about that. But in terms of his legacy, um, he, uh, I think I was in, uh, you know, I was part of the uh, process where there was the um, uh, the the competi Ukrainian competition in in Ukraine, um, uh, you know, helping teachers and helping students to attain prizes, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, to, to help bring Ukraine and the Ukrainian language to the forefront. Um, and, uh, you know, that went for a certain time, but then he saw that uh, he wanted Ukrainians to take it over, basically. Um, and then he, you know, he decided to move to uh, Hrushevsky. And uh, this was a master, uh, uh, master idea, uh, uh, you know, from his, uh, on his part. And I believe that, you know, this is, um, this was his pride and joy, you know, that uh, people will be able to access this and, uh, the translation will, will always be associated with the, uh, the name Petroyatsk. <laughs>